On this video, we're going to take a look at this Geekom Mini PC, Mini IT11 with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD storage that basically fits in the palm of your hand. This is a more than an entry level computer that is capable of video editing and so much more. It is absolutely whisper quiet. As you can see, my speaking tops at like 60, 63 average. 31.8, 31.7, 26 26.5, 33.1, and then underneath 29. So again, it does not even go above 31 Celsius, which is quite incredible. Stay tuned for the whole video. Hey everybody, today we have a special video review here. We have just connected the Mini IT11 by Geekom. This is an absolutely smoking little PC that packs a lot of punch and power. Uh, this is the box that it comes with, very small, minimal. It has all of the cables, well cables, you only get an AC adapter and then you get an HDMI cable. In our case, we had a, a more quality cable but um, it really makes no difference. The one that we actually purchased because you can get this in different um, specifications is the one with the i5-1135G7 up to 4.2 gigahertz um, chip. It's got four cores, eight thread that support up to 12 megabyte of smart cache, making this not only a great multitasking living room computer but also a video editing machine that can handle the latest 4k editing this one also has 16 gigabytes of dual ddr4 ram even our desktop only has ddr3 with an expansion up to 64 so that's a beauty but you are gonna have to take out the two eights and throw in two 32s which is great and it packs a 512 gigabyte ssd hard drive with a pre-installed windows 11 pro right on it the computer, of course, has a built-in dual-band Wi-Fi that supports 2.4 and 5G networks and Wi-Fi 6. This does support 4K. We are currently using an Android smart television, which is 4K UHD. And as you can see, connected via the HDMI port, I'm just gonna show you. Right here, this is the PC itself. We've got the one HDMI port on the back. We've got two 3.0 USBs. This is what we've connected our keyboard and our mouse too. We are gonna get a wireless setup. On the back, you have your ethernet LAN. This is the AC adapter, 19 volts, 4.7 amp. On the front, you've got your power button. Again, it boots up lightning fast because it is an SSD. You've got your auxiliary headphones, so you can plug in either a sound bar, a wireless Bluetooth speaker, or connect this to an actual home theater receiver as well. It also has Bluetooth 5.2, meaning that you can connect multiple audio channels to this machine as well. Uh, but we're good having it, the audio just transmit right out of the television. And then on the front, you have another USB 3.0. And then finally, you've got your USB-C. Uh, on the back, you also have yet another USB-C that's above that HDMI. And finally, you've got right there another one mini display port. It also has a one SD card reader right on the side. This is the Geekom Mini IT11 PC with multi-monitor support. It also supports the installation of Ubuntu operating system so you can run both and use them simultaneously via different monitor setups. Inside, they did provide you with a VESA mounting plate so you can put this on the back of that computer for a nice clean setup. There are these screws under these rubber caps that you can take out. If you want to swap the RAM, there are two sticks of eight gigabytes. You want to swap that out for two 32s, reaching a maximum of 64 gigabytes DDR if that's what you want to do. Um, and I will do that probably within a year because we will be using this as a main editing station. There's also a 512 gigabyte SSD hard drive in there that you can upgrade to like a terabyte or two if you want to. So we just ran a PCGameBenchmark.com test and it verified the CPU. The processor in this machine is Intel i5-1135G7. There are eight threads capable of doing 2.4 gigahertz. The Intel Iris Pro Graphic 6200 is the graphic card in here and it can play some of the top 1000 games that I came out in 2022. It does come with Windows 11 and let's go and run another test. 
All right, so since this is a PC, we can't just download apps from the Google Store, so we are gonna have to run some applications as you would a normal PC. So this is a HTML5 3D benchmark test. Let's do a quick test. So this is Canvas 3D test number one, and we're getting 83 frames per second. Now we're getting 71. Zoom in for you guys. So we're doing a stress test until it drops to 10 frames per second. They're slowly adding more and more blocks just to determine the maximum frames per second that the video card in this little PC right here can handle. And it's going absolutely great. It's not falling under 10. Let's see here, let's go 520. All right, so I will zoom out for you guys and you guys can absolutely see how many windows we can open up on this 75 inch TV. Again, this is a 4K display. You've got an entire browser on that side so you can play videos and do whatnot. This is my Chrome. Then we've got our device manager. We've got another testing browser up there and then we've got our final explorer. So you can have quite a lot of applications running simultaneously without straining your eyes as long as you have a large television to connect to. Now the 4K cable that they supply transmits data and audio so you don't have to plug in an additional auxiliary into your front if you do want to hook this up to a sound bar or home theater you can absolutely do that as well okay so we're gonna run a user benchmark test right now and see how well the graphic card and the system handles itself and then we're gonna fast track to give you the actual results so question is can this handle 3d operations video editing and of course standard productivity tools and daily internet browsing and the answer is absolutely yes it can all right so we have a couple things running here and we're going to test how loud this is it is absolutely whisper quiet as you can see my speaking tops at like 60, 63 average, whereas this on average is about 29 to 30, which is silent. Now let's see how hot it is. This has been running all night. This is our thermal gun. 31 31.8, 31.7, 26.5, 33.1, and then underneath, 29. So again, it does not even go above 31 Celsius, which is quite incredible. You probably want to plug in a wireless keyboard and a mouse into this, but uh, absolutely thrilled with this setup. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.